Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Is this recording? Okay. Hey guys. Um, I know I've been like gone for like a few weeks, and I have, and I've been kind of postponing this video for like forever, and I'm so sorry, but I'm finally doing it. So this. I promised a Q&A about the song, about me in general, about being an army and all in general. And I keep postponing the video because one, I was on vacation. Two, I didn't really have enough. Well, I didn't have, I didn't know the right time to film. And yes, but I've gathered some questions that I'll finally be answering and I'll also walk you guys through the process of um, basically the global army song and everything else so um, first question um, these are not in order by the way but um, from Fang okay I'm not pronouncing that um, it says what inspired you to write a song or sing for BTS and um, to be honest I when I wrote those songs that eventually became the global army song i didn't really think of bts like it was directly for them it was more of a vague and ambiguous song that could really be for anyone like for example um see you there and will be fine has several references that only an army would get but even if you're not an army I think the song would still work because it's ambiguous enough for you to kind of dedicate it to anybody really. So what inspired me was more like when BTS writes songs, they don't write it specifically for someone. And as a listener, you can interpret it any way you want with a song. And so I think in, with that came with the inspiration of writing a song that kind of fits for everyone in a sense. Okay. Next question. Which app do you make your music with? I, I'm, okay, to be honest, I'm very, like, bad at technology or, like, software-ish type stuff. So, I use GarageBand, like, the normal, like, very basic GarageBand. And I actually don't do a lot. Like, I just put a lot, some reverb and compress my voice and record several layers. And I'm basically, that's how I post my music essentially because that's how i started and i th yeah i should learn more and, and like dive into like this producing process yeah so i use GarageBand. <laughs> what are your who are some of your favorite musical influences um bts is definitely one of them but um i listen to a lot of indie and also like just soft and chill music that sort of fits my vibe and um a lot of underground artists like um i have an artist that i really like her name is alina she's from switzerland i believe and she's actually not that that not really that as famous but um she, her songs are really really like relatable and also very um it's tell the story and yeah and a lot of k ballad singers too like lee high used to be one of my favorite um musicians and i get a lot of inspiration from them so how long have you been singing i've never really sang professionally because um i've always sang my whole entire life but um I remember my dad told me that I started singing when I was two in a hospital like with like a bunch of church people so yeah I started singing when I was two but I never really took singing seriously until I was like 14 15 and then I sort of started like getting really into it yeah when what is your first language and where are you from? You're just meeting. Love you. Thank you. My first language, believe it or not, is English. Um, I am from Taiwan, but I am also part Filipino. So, in a sense, a biracial. 
official person. Um, in the house, we speak English, Chinese, Filipino, but for common ground sake, we all speak English. And I grew up speaking English. And to be honest, I, I can't. I even though I speak like a variety of languages, there's not a language that I'm like super super good at because it, yeah speaking too much languages in the house kind of messes it up but yeah english is my first language and i'm from taiwan uh, next how is there ah since when did you write start writing army songs by the way i love your army i love the army song you made thank you um i started writing 2016 but it wasn't for a global army song it was just more like songs that i made that i wanted to dedicate it for the boys for their birthday for example when cookie had a birthday i kind of dedicated the song to him and the following year 2017 um a fan base from the uae um, contacted me and I kind of sort of collaborated with their admin and we wrote the first global army song together it was a it had about like 10 languages and it was called fly I don't know if you guys remember that or has ever really like know about it I'll leave the link below um, that was the first global army song but I have been writing for the members for like three three years now and 2018 was the time when I actually finally just organized everything on my own and find people and just collab with them and yeah but three years it's a really long time <laughs> yeah. um, how do you make these global army glo 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 song <laughs> um so the process is actually, it's not that complicated, but it's not easy either. So I've been writing these types of, pro I've been kind of hosting these parts of the project for about three year, two to three years now. And so basically I post on Twitter, um, would you guys be interested in singing a global army song? I, I pre-write the songs, of course, and I talk to, my friend Astra who's a producer and I asked her like well before that okay let's backtrack a bit okay before that I sort of map out the song and see like if the song is like worthy not worthy but like it suits a certain theme that I'm thinking of and every year has a different theme but those songs are pre-made and for example um will be fine was written before 2018 i think it was like written 2016 17 and with the theme of it i sort of already had it in mind and i sort of go back to it and 2007 18 was um sort of a really really big year for bts and also faced a lot of challenges and so i sort of went back to the song sort of just rearranged some things and put in some references that would really um help boost the song's sincerity and i go to twitter tweet about it see if anybody wants to join then the process begins so i leave i tell them what the requirements for the audition um i don't see their faces but they can show me i don't force them to show me who they are because um the point of the audition is just to see if the voice fits not um of, of course like it also needs to like the like the basic requirements can they sing are they on pitch or something like that but most of it is more like is their voice does their voice match the music bed and i audition them and i evaluate them for about a month before i narrow it down to just one representative per country because it's really hard because sometimes you'll get like 50 auditions from one country and you have to go back 
to the auditions and like kind of pl play with the song like have the song play here and like have their voice and listen to it over and over again to see if it really matches and this year was particularly hard because there was about 300 people who auditioned and i last year i had help going through auditions but this year i sort of went through it manually but myself so my admin team kind of gave me a spreadsheet and i just had to go through them one by one by one by one until i got like the fine until i got the final um people who sing who would sing for the song and then um after that i recruit translators based not based on like just translating but more like they they need to translate the song rhythmically and also make sure that this the flow would be smooth and after i um recruit them i make separate group chats for them and i usually main i mainly use cacao talk for it it just makes it more convenient for me um this year i wanted to be more than just a song like last year it also had a production but this year i wanted to have more to have a better comeback essentially so i wanted to have more visuals more um production to be higher scale and so i also had recruited um designers animators video editors lyric video editors and of course rachel love you yes um i asked rachel to edit because i love her edits but um the rest of the team had to do um editing and anime animation and all the other stuff for um just promotional wise and also i had an additional team for advertisement which i basically just asked on twitter if you wanted to help in any way and after that this is the most crucial part because it's like none of i don't i only give a certain task to the certain groups so for translator if they're done translating that's all they need to do they don't need to do anything else but for the vo for the vocalist they just need to learn the song record their lines make sure it's super clear and pretty and really it, it sounds okay and then when they're done they're basically hands-free they don't need to do anything um then it kind of leaves the task to just me and um astra so we go back and forth a lot of 4 a.m's about it we go back and forth um seeing which which um what kind of production i would want and see if this fits or not or if this certain instrumental doesn't fit or not um i record the guitar i record the guide guided vocals for them everything that they would need voc voc the vocalist would need and everything that the producer would need and after that I, I take a listen and if i don't like it i send it back and either they the producer asks me to ask the vocalist to record it again or i ask the producer to change the way things are and after that comes in the promotional people they have to um basically designers have to make posters countdown photos concept photos album covers and that and also after that the vocalists usually are the protagonist of the video so if the video you see for see there are actually the vocalist um they they did a really good job this year for like filming their their landmarks and all that so vocalists basically have two jobs sing obviously and also film and after that it just has a lot of editing and mixing a lot of 4 a.m's but then after that um we send the final file to the video editor the video editor and i talk rachel and i actually talk for a lot of days we talked a lot about what kind of direction we want the mv to be what kind of clips you want it to be um and also just the concept in general and what kind of message we want to put it out there and so a lot of communicating a lot of organizing a lot of coffees and a lot of like just 
a lot of work and after all of that is done basically when the editing is done the video is done the posters are ready the the audio is done we just release it and depending on the demand of it we release it also for online platforms like spotify itunes apple music everywhere yeah but yes that was really really long i'm so sorry but yes since you guys wanted to know like the process of the global army song this is basically the process of it it it's it's summarized because i don't want to like give you guys all the boring details about it but yes basically this year there's about 150 people or more that worked on the song actually and let me tell you they worked really really hard and i'm really really grateful for the people that worked with me but yes it's a lot of work <laughs> yeah so next i think i'm uh i'm gonna do a part two about this q a but i will finish i will kind of make this q a more about the song and about music and i'll make the next q a about me as a person and as an army but i will give you i will um have one more question and then i'll have to go so let me choose one right now Uh, do you have plans for army song next year to be honest it's july right now and we just released the song um, like two weeks three weeks ago two to three weeks ago i don't remember um so i usually plan these kind of projects like mid march or mid february and as i said the song is pre-made so i don't like write during the process of making the global army song so i will post on my social medias you can follow me there if you would want like any updates on like if i'm going to make one um if i feel inspired and if um many people would want to still want me to continue to make these kind of projects for the for the fourth year um yes i would be very happy to make another global army song however um I would I will post about it um, next year next year February or March because I don't want to make promises that I probably would have if any circumstances would come like I would have to break it so I will definitely post things on my social medias as well I'm more active on Twitter actually so I'll definitely do that and I'll post an announcement if i'm going to make a comeback again and make it again but yeah that's basically it <laughs> um if you guys have any questions about like countries or lyrics or like problems or just comment down below and i'll like answer them in the next part of the video so i'll see you in part two part two is more of a personal kind of q a because there i got a bunch of questions and so i just want to thank you guys again for all the support and all the encouragement and all the nice messages that i've got my dms are still flooding and i promise you guys i'm not ignoring you guys i'm actually slowly going through them right now so um I will get to your messages and also for the comments that i've been receiving for the past three weeks you guys have no idea how amazing they are and they how heartwarming they are and encouraging they are and so i just want to say thank you again for believing in me and thank you for supporting and that i just want you to know that all the things i do is because i love you guys and i love being an army and i love bts so much and I'm super super thankful so yes i purple you all and please remember hope is always around us so don't be afraid so i'll see you guys in the next picture bye